A very good day to all of you. In the last class, you learned about the insert menu and also practiced with it. Let us revise what we learned in the previous class. Can you tell which sub menu you will need to use date and time on your writer page? To insert date and time, you will use the field option. Why do we use header and footer? Using the header, you can add the title on your page and using the footer, you can insert page number on your page. Using hyperlink, how many files can you insert on your page? Using hyperlink, you can insert as many files as you want on a page. Can you tell how is a hyperlink file opened? To open a hyperlink file, you need to keep the control button pressed with the finger of your left hand and with the finger of the right hand, left click the mouse or on the touchpad for 2 seconds. This will open the hyperlink file. Can you tell what is a standard toolbar? Standard toolbar is a shortcut method which helps you make your tasks simpler. Now, all of you switch on your computer and open the writer file using the method taught to you. If you have any problems in doing this, watch and learn from the video. With the help of this video, we will now learn to quickly open our writer file Find the Windows key on your keyboard and keep it pressed with the left hand one finger and then press the R key with your right hand. Once you do that, the run box opens as is being shown in the video and if there is something written, you can do a backspace to delete whatever is written and then write S writer without giving any spaces. S W R I T E R and press on OK. Once you do that, your writer file gets opened immediately. Have you opened the writer file? If not, watch the video and learn from it. Let us see what we will learn in today's class. In this class, you will learn about the options of the format menu, like what is default formatting. You will also learn about the options of the character sub menu, like font name, font effect, and hyperlink. Now, all of you look at the given paragraph and type out the same on your writer page. Have you all typed out the given paragraph? If not, then hurry up and type it out. Let us now learn about the character sub menu. Can you tell why we use the character sub menu? In the previous classes, you all had learned about formatting of text or paragraph by using the formatting toolbar. Character sub menu is an option with which you can use all the options of formatting. Let us first learn about the fonts. Using the font option, you can change the writing style of your text or paragraph and can change the size of the text. You can also make the text bold or change it to italics or even underline the same. Let us now watch the video and learn about the usage of these options. Let us watch this video to learn how we can change the typeface or the font style and the various variations that we can make on the font. To make any changes on the font style, 
we need to first select the line or the paragraph and you can use any of the methods that you have learned so far to select the line or the paragraph. So as is being shown in the video to you, select a line on which you want to change the font style. Now bring your pointer to the format option of the menu bar and click there, left click on it and then Select the character option by clicking on it. A box opens. In this box, look for the font option and take your pointer there and click on it. Once you click here, it shows font styles there. So in the font styles, you see many font names are given. These are different styles of writing. You can press the scroll button, keep the left button pressed of your mouse or the touchpad and move it up or down to see different styles of writing and then select the one which you like. So this, when you select this, the writing will change and then you have to press OK to see the effect taking place on your writer page. So now you see that the selected style or the font type has changed on the selected line. Now let's also see how we can make other changes on the other line in this paragraph. To do that again we need to select the line or the paragraph and we select it as is being shown in the video. Again we take the pointer to the format option of the Mino bar and click there. Once again we click on the correct character option. This time we are going to look for changing the type phase or making it bold. So look at type phase below that there is regular italic, bold or bold italic. So let's select the bold italic and then do an OK and you will notice that the line that we had selected gets changed to bold italic. Next, let's try to see what other changes we can make and we will select the line or the paragraph to make the changes. We are trying now going to change the font size or the size of our writing. So for that, as is being shown in the video, first select the line or the paragraph on which you want to make the change. So after it has been selected, take your pointer to the format option in the menu bar, left click on that, left click on the character option and now look for the size option. Again there is a scroll button, keep your left, but left uh, pointer on that and keep it pressed with the left button, scroll up or down. If you go up, the size will decrease. If you go down, the size will increase. As you can see, let us select a, a size of 24 and then press OK. So you will see that our selected paragraph size of the writing or the font size has all changed. Let us now learn about font effect. Font effect is also a part of character submino. And it also has many options like font color, effects, relief, outline, shadow, blinking, overlining, strike through, underline, etc. Can you tell what happens with font color? We use font color to change the color of our text or paragraph. Now go ahead and select one line and change the font color for that line. If you face a problem, watch the video and learn from the same. This video will help us to understand how we can change the font color. To change the font color of our selected text, we first need to select the line or the paragraph on which we need to make the change in font color. 
So we use any of the selection options to select this line or paragraph as is being shown in the video. Then take your pointer to the format option of the menu bar. Left click on that and then left click on the character option. A box opens as you have seen earlier. And in this box now you click on the font effects option. As is being shown in the video to you. Bring the cursor here and click. Now you see font color below. Click on the drop down. And there is a scroll on which you can bring your cursor. And keep the left button pressed to scroll it up or down. You can select any of the colors which you like. Once you have selected the color, click on OK and then you will see that the text that you had selected, the font color changes. Can you tell what happens with effects? Effect is an option using which you can make changes to your text or paragraph like changing the text to capital or small letters. Now watch the video and practice all these options one by one. This video will teach us how to use font effects. With font effects you can make changes on the font. To do that you have to first select the line or the paragraph on which you want to change the font effects. So you can use any of the methods that you have learned for selection. Once you have selected the line and or the paragraph, go to the format option in the menu bar. Click on character option and a box opens in which you need to select the font effects option. So in this, go to the effects option and click on the drop down. When you click there, you see various options available to you which are without capitals, lowercase, title and small letters, small capitals. So you can change and you will see different kinds of uh, effects taking place on your font. Select the one which you like. For instance, if we do small capitals, this is how it will appear as is being shown in the video. Let us change our, our text to all capitals. So to do that, we have selected capitals and then we press on OK. So this way you will see that the selected text gets changed to capitals. Next, you will all learn about options for outline, shadow, blinking and hidden. Can you tell why we use outline in writer? With the use of writer, you can only see the outline of the text and you cannot have solid color filled inside the outline. Let us now watch the video and learn what happens with outline. This video helps us to understand how we use the outline option. To use the outline option, you need to first select the line or the paragraph on which you want to use the outline option. So select the text, then take your pointer to the format option of the menu bar. Click on that and then click on the character option. A box opens. And within this box, look for the outline option. When you click on the outline option, a tick mark appears. And then when you will press OK, it will get applied on the text. In the outline option, what will happen is that each letter or alphabet is only written in outlines. There is no solid fill color inside it. Now if you want to change it back to the normal mode, then you need to select the text once again. We will show you in the video. We select the text again. 
again take a pointer to the format option select that then select the character option and then here come and select outline again so that the tick mark goes away and then press on ok so the text becomes as it was can you tell what is shadow with the use of shadow you can get a shadow on your text let us watch the video and learn what happens with the use of shadow in this video we will learn how to apply the shadow option to our text on the writer page to apply the shadow option we need to select the text where we need to apply this so select the line or the paragraph as is being shown in the video and then take your pointer to the format option in the menu bar click on that and from the options which appear click on the character option when you click there a box opens here bring your pointer to where the shadow option is written and when you click there a tick mark will appear in the box next to shadow where the shadow is written then you need to click on ok and you will notice that the shadow gets applied on the text that you had selected on the writer page like this as is being shown in the video now if you want to remove the shadow effect you will need to again select the line or the paragraph where you don't want the shadow we have selected it bring the pointer to the format option of the menu bar click on that and then left click on the character option when the box opens come and click with the left button of the mouse or the touchpad on the shadow option and the tick mark up disappears then click ok so the shadow will not get applied now and the text will return to normal can you tell what is blinking and why is it used blinking option is used to make your text blink when we use this option our desired text repeatedly appears and disappears let us watch the video and learn how we can use the blinking option this video helps us understand how we can use the blinking option to make our selected text blink on the writer page so to make the text blink we first need to select the text which you can select by any of the options or the methods that you have learned after selecting take the pointer to the format option of the menu bar as is being shown in the video and left click with your mouse or touchpad and then click the character option a box opens look for the blinking option in this box bring your pointer there and click when once you click a tick mark appears and then you press on okay option and then you will see that the text that you had selected appears and disappears or starts blinking so this is how you can make your text blink now if you want to remove the blinking you will again have to go to the format option let us see what happens if this blinking text is not selected watch in the video the text is not selected but is blinking so we take a pointer to the format option of the menu bar left click on that with a mouse or touchpad left button and then click on the character option the box opens and now we bring a pointer to the blinking option 
and click on that so that the tick mark disappears and then when we press ok we will think that now the blinking should go off but let's see what happens once we press the ok button the blinking is still continuing this is because we had not selected the text so if we want to remove the blinking from this text that we had selected we will have to select it once again so remember that you need to select the text as is being shown in the video now take your pointer again to the format option of the mino bar left click on that and then click on the character option to select the character option a box opens and again again in this box bring your pointer to the option of blinking and click there so that the tick mark goes away and then when you click on ok you will notice that your text no longer blinks so this is how you use the blinking option on your writer page why do we use hidden option using the hidden option you can hide your text or paragraph to bring back the hidden portions you just need to click on the hidden option once again let us now watch the video to learn about using the hidden option let us watch this video and see what happens with the hidden option if you want to hide any text or line or paragraph on your writer page you can use the hidden option to do this you will first need to select the line or the paragraph or the text so select the paragraph or the line by a method which has been already taught to you and then take your pointer to the format option of the mino bar left click on that and then click on the character option again left click and you will see a box which opens up in this box look for the option called hidden and bring your pointer there and click on that a tick mark appears which shows that the hidden option has got selected and then when you do an okay on this go to okay and click on that your text gets hidden on the writer page now if you want the text to reappear you can use the same method going to the format option in the mino bar clicking on that and then clicking on the character seeing the box but this way the hidden option does not reappear the text does not reappear so let's cancel this and let's use the undo command the shortcut for which is control plus z when we use control plus z here you will see like is be it is being shown in the video that the hidden text reappears this is how you can use the hidden option let us now learn about overlining strike through and underline can you tell what happens with overlining with the overlining option you can bring a line above your text or paragraph overlining is of many types and once we select the overline option we will be shown an overline color option also from where we can change the color for overlining watch the video to learn the use of overlining with the help of this video we will learn how to use overlining on top of our selected text and also how to change the overlining color so to do any changes on the text you need to first select the text the line or the paragraph so we select that and then take a pointer to the format option of the menu bar as is being shown in the video and 
use the left button of your mouse or touchpad to click and select this option. When you select it, from the options shown in the box, click on character option and the character box options box opens. Now here, look for the overlining option and click on the down arrow so that you can see the various options which are available. Using the scroll button by left clicking on the scroll and then scrolling up or down, you can see different options and when you use select those options, you can see what is happening in the box below and you can select the one which you like. So right now it is dotted. Next we are going to change it to dash bold. So if you like this, you can go ahead and select OK or click on OK and you see that overlining gets applied on the text that you had selected. Now if you want to change the color of the overlining, again go take your pointer to the format option, click on the character option and this time from the box look for the overline color option. Again when you bring your pointer to the drop down arrow, click on that and you will see different options here for the overline color. So you can scroll up or down and see what color you like, select a color and then click on OK and you will see that the color of the overline gets changed. We will now learn about strike through. Can you tell why we use the strike through option? Using strike through, you can get a line in the middle of your text or line over the text. Let us watch the video and learn about the use of strike through. This video helps us in understanding how we can apply strike through on our text in the writer page. So for applying the strike through, first as usual we have to first select the line or the paragraph or the text. After selecting, take your pointer to the format option of the menu bar, left click on that with the left button of the mouse or the touchpad and then left click on character option, a box opens as is being shown in the video and now look for in the font effects look for the strike through option. Bring your pointer here and click on it and you see different options. So if you were to select single you can see a single line is coming on top of the text. If you select double, double line like this. You can also select bold or any of the other options. So we select one of the options that we like, like we select the bold option and then we click on OK. So you will see that the strike through gets applied on the selected text of your writer page. If you want to remove this, you have to ensure that the text is still selected. Bring your pointer to the format option, click on the character option and now bring your pointer back to the strike through, click on that and choose the without option which means there is no strike through and then click on OK. So the strike through goes away from the text that you had selected. Let us now learn about underlining. Can you tell why we use underlining? As you know, using underline, you can get a line under your text or paragraph. If you want to highlight a text or paragraph by bringing a line under the same, you can use the underline option to do this. This also allows you to use many types of lines for underlining and you can even change the color of the line. Let us now watch the video to learn more about using underline option. This video 
teaches us how we can use underlining on our text and also how we can change the color of the underline. To underline the text, we first need to select the text. So select the line, paragraph or text that you want to underline as is being shown in the video and then take the pointer to the format option of the menu bar. Click on that to select the options and then click on the character option. To select that, a box opens and from amongst the font effects, look for the underlining options. Bring the pointer to the down arrow here and you can notice that there are many styles of underlining. So you can one by one select and see the effect. If you click on double, the double line comes. If you click on dotted line, a dotted line appears. If you click on dash, dashed line appears. So select the type that you like to underline with. For instance, dash bold and then click on OK. So the text will be underlined with dash bold line. Now, if you want to change the color of the underline that you have done, select the text and go back, take the pointer back to the format option of the menu bar, select the character option from there after clicking on format and then again come to underlining, select the line that you had selected earlier, for instance, dash bold line and then take the cursor to the color option, click on the down arrow and then scroll up or down to select the color of your choice and then click on OK and you will see that the underline that you had done changes to the color of your choice. So this is how we can use the underline and change the color of the underline on our writer page text. The next option we will learn about is background color. Can you tell what happens when we use background color? Using background color, you can bring color behind your text or paragraph. Let us watch the video and know how to bring background color. Let us watch this video and learn how we can change the background color of our selected text. So to change the color, we need to again select the text or the line or the paragraph. Once you have selected that, take the pointer to the format option of the menu bar, left click on that and then from the options which appear in the box, click on the character option. A box opens and then you have to look for the background option in this and click on that. Once you click there, you see number of colors in a box. So you can select the one which you like as your background and then click on OK and you will see that the selected paragraph or the line or the text will have the background of your choice. Let us now learn about default formatting. Can you tell what happens with default formatting? Default formatting is an option using which you can remove any formatting done on a line or paragraph and bring it back to its original form. For example, if you have used the underline and font color option, on your line or paragraph and you want to bring it back to its original form, then you can do so by using default formatting. Let us now watch the video and learn more about using default formatting. With the help of this video, let us learn what happens when we use default formatting. To use default formatting, you need to select the text or the paragraph on which you had already done some formatting. So select this paragraph with one of the methods which you have learnt earlier as is being shown in the video to you. Now bring your pointer 
to the format option of the Mino bar and click on that with the left button and then click on default formatting. You can do default formatting with shortcut Ctrl plus M also. Once you choose the default formatting option, you notice that your text appears in the normal form without any formatting that you had done. We will end this lesson here for today. Close your writer file and properly shut down your system. In today's class, you learned about some of the options of format Mino like default formatting and also about character sub Mino and using its various options. Thank you.